Look, there's Barbara. Look, there's Henry. She has him. Bewitched and bothered, or bewitched and bewildered, in The Lady Eve, by written, directed, and performed by Preston Sturges. Hey there, Nate Jackson, Criterion Collection Reviewer of the Sorts, Person, Guy, whatever, with number 103, The Lady Eve, by Preston, Mr. Mr. I Can Do It All, Preston Sturges. I don't know, maybe he's into it all, I don't know. Anyway, uh, not much to say about this one because it was good. Relatively decent. Our first English movie, and they come, the Criterion got us, you know, coming out of the gate. And yeah, so Barbara Stanwyck, Henry Fonda, where, where can you go wrong? You can't really. Actually, it's funny because I've never actually seen a film by either of these. I know who they were, I knew they were actors and actresses, and I knew what they did, but I hadn't, I didn't really know, you know, I had never seen anything by them. So here we go and man they, they, they prove me they prove me spellbound if you can prove someone spellbound. Anyway, but let's talk about the film. Uh yeah, 1941, 93 minutes, blah 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 black and white English, of course. Our first English film of the season, but certainly not our last, Spartacus. And some others I can probably Yeah. Anyway. So the film. So we got so there's two the, our two main characters there's Barbara Stanwyck who plays um, Jean Harrington who is a card shark a kind of a swindler gold digger kind of person who uh, works works over like rich guys with her father the colonel and they they're on a ship and they trap a young Charles Pike who is a snake um, scientist uh, he's like a snake enthusiast who'd been in South Africa and he gets on the he gets on the boat and he's like but he's famous for like his father who's uh, Pike's Pale the ale that won Yale or something like that won over Yale which is pretty funny and yeah so they meet Jean and Charles meet and at first she's like you know let's get his money and so there's this whole the scene where he she trips over, he trips over her leg, and she has to, he has to fix her heel for her in the room, and they get cozy and acquainted like that, and uh, they end up, you know, meeting and kind of falling for each other, and he ends up, you know, introducing her to a snake, and she gets all ape shit, and they end up, yeah, but in the end, she ends up falling for him. That's the problem, though, and uh, even though they, his father, her father, you know, takes half his money, but she's still like she's like you know what don't you know she wants him to go straight but um but he's like no 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 i not i don't want to take his money so she tries to prevent his father her father from taking his money by screwing up his uh card game and uh successful for a bit and uh however it isn't until later his um Charles's like bodyguard Muggsy is kind of suspicious about there being card sharks on the on the ship, and so he ends up finding out from like the coat check guy or something like that, the valet or something, that there are photos of them and with all their info, and he ends up showing it to Charles, and Charles finds out that they're really robbers, and so he gets all defensive and he turns against Jean. Even though she's already fallen for him, and he had already fallen for her, but you know, now that he knows it, he doesn't realize that she's truly and honestly in love with him. And so he just says, "You know, that's it. We're done." You know, and, he's like, and she's like, "Oh no, no, no! Don't do that." And so they part ways, and a few, I think, a year later, a few months later, or weeks later, they're at a racetrack, or uh, Jean and uh, her father at a racetrack, and they run into an old friend of her father's who apparently knows the Pike family and so she decides to get back at Charles by pretending to be her father's friend's niece the Lady Eve Sidwich and they come over to a big dinner that Charles's family are putting on and she comes up and she has to be a British now and, and so when they meet he's like you know Charles is like didn't we meet on a cruise ship? You know, she 
of course plays it off as no 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 it couldn't be meanwhile mugsy is totally like that's definitely the same same dame certainly the same dame um meanwhile there's this whole gag about how like charles is so taken aback that he ends up tripping over everything and i didn't think that henry fonda was such a physical like comedian i think it was i think it was mentioned that that was one of the he was the most that was like the most physical comedy henry fonda ever did in a movie or had to do or blah 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 so yeah it's 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 definitely it's supposed to it's it's touted as a touted as a screwball comedy but i mean it's it's definitely kind of crazy in certain scenes such as you know barbara or gene if you will um getting scared by the snake and of course charles tripping over everything in the latter half of the film and yeah so anyway so she ends up so they end up getting married he ends up falling for her and he ends up getting married and they they get married and on the train he ends up she ends up screwing him over even more by um telling him about all her previous lovers and so he's like i'm out and so he gets off the he gets off the train and they're separated and so they want like they're trying to like divvy up their alimony or something like that and so he so he's like i don't want to talk to her she's like she don't want to talk to me and so he realizes you know at the end she has to make a deal with him and so she says you know he can have everything and of course her father is pissed and is like no no no, take the money take the money he's like no i don't want anything i just i just want to see him one more time i have something to say and pike doesn't want to have anything to do with her and he's like i'm off to brazil or something like that he's back to south america she finds this out and so she gets on the the cruise ship with her father who i guess has been okay who's i guess is okay with you know her being with charles now and not worried about the money or anything like that and so they she trips over him and she does the whole leg trip again the, they reunite and he's like oh my gosh i missed you so much oh my god i love you i love you let's go get a room um and yeah so it's basically how he he falls for her and yeah even though and then the last iconic line which i'm spoilers is uh he says you yeah, well there's something i've got to confess to you and uh Jean says well what's that and he says i'm married and she says so am i which is kind of a, kind of a cute way to end the movie so yeah that's 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 all i get to say about the lady Eve. um it's very very funny i think um i was originally giving it an a because I loved, I thought it was a brilliant concept. I thought, you know, she falls for him. You know, so I love that. It's like, I love those kind of movies where they're, they're up to no good, but, you know, somehow, like, love gets in the way. I think that's a, just a classic, you know, classic storyline that always works for me. So, I love that about the film. And, of course, Barbara Stanwyck is a gorgeous actress, and Henry Fonda is a gorgeous actress. I mean, actor. He's not an actress. No, 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 no. He's really great as well. So yeah, I just I was won by this movie. But yeah, I just I'm giving it an A minus actually, just because of the latter half. I just I wasn't crazy about Barbara Stanwyck's performance as Eve. It was just it was a little frustrating to see where she was going. It was I was kind of a little confused as to where she was going with her performance as Eve, or where her character was going. You know, like how far. Was she gonna take him? You know, and the whole scene with the the lovers on the train was kind of like I I kind of got it, but it didn't really hit home, you know, too well. It, it could have been hit home a little better, but there's that. But yeah, A minus. I I thought it was a really brilliant movie. Um, I don't think it's a, I'm not sure if it's in print anymore. Otherwise, I would pick this one up. It's not bad. Um, supplements. Video introduction by, oh god, writer director Peter Bogdovich. Who needs to shut the hell up? I, I can't stand that guy. Uh, that goes on for a while. And then we got the 1942 broadcast of the Lux Radio Theater adaptation, which I love the Lux Radio Theater. We've got, had a couple so far. What with, um, was, uh, Third Man and, uh, 39 Steps. So I'm digging when Criterion put these on. Because I could just, cause, um, they're all online. There's a couple of websites you can get all the Lux Radio Theaters available 
and uh, I could just, I didn't even have to probably even watch it. I could just download it and went for a walk. And I think that fact, that's what I did with the um, third man. I took, um, I think it was back, back in June, I think we were doing third man. And I took it and we walked, uh, I walked to go vote. And I took the, the radio theater with me. And when I got back, I did the review. I don't think I told you guys that last season, but anyway. So yeah, so that's, that's the size of it. Um, this scrapbook, a lot of, uh, publicity materials. Nice little, uh, screenshots of the Hayes Code, like things they, they were object about, such as a scene where a character uses the word puke. Which I was kind of like, holy crap, they used the word puke? I didn't think that word existed back in 19, the 1940s, you know? So yeah, that was kind of cool to see, and just little notes by, uh, letters by Barbara Stanwyck in her handwriting on her stationery with the word named Barbara Stanwyck at the top. Nice. And that's about it. That's all I can say. So, and there's some costume designs by Edith Head, who did all the costuming. And the trailer, which is quite cool. And that's it. It's a good one. Our first, our first A. Our first possibility for the, the sale next month. So Lady Eve, A minus. There you go. We. Alright. So, originally, I told you guys that I was planning on doing, originally I was planning on doing double suicide tomorrow. However, Something's come up. I've got a job I'm working on tomorrow afternoon. So Double Suicide will be coming on Thursday. Thursday, October 23rd. I'm trying to give you guys dates this season. October, I don't know why, but yeah. October 23rd, Double Suicide. And then Spartacus, Monday, Monday, October 27th. And it won't be one because, you know, like I said, two discs. Movies th over three hours long, and there's a billion more supplements, and it's just yeah, we need we need a day for this. We may even take two days for this. But yeah, so that's that's the schedule, and then I've got a, the next two coming up. Um, they're in the they're in the library. They're coming through the library, and they should be here soon. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching, and we will see you. Oh, moral. Moral story. Uh, don't eat the apple. Yeah. They had a cartoon snake. Straight out of like a Tex Avery cartoon in the credits. And the, it was funny. Bizarre. Thought he'd be a character. Anyway. Don't, yeah, don't bite the apple. Uh, see you on Thursday for Double Suicide. And until then, later.